So when you're buying into the equity curve, you've got to run the compounding back test because that will limit the number of positions according to the capital that's available. So run the compounding back test, see what mm -hmm. open trades there are, and then scale those open trades down to your amount of equity. Yeah. And then yeah. you manage them ongoing using the unconstrained capital back test. So you'll, you'll, you'll back test your open trades watch list with that unconstrained te um, back test to see if there's any um, sell signals. And then you'll run the back test on the entire market to see if there's any new buy signals. And if you have spare cash, then you can take a new buy signal, but only if you've got spare cash. Thank <laughs> you.